I am gonna give you a little tour of our family suite here at Cabana Bay. So this is the little living room area and what's really nice because this is a family suite, you do kind of have two separate areas here. So like I said, this is like the living room area, but this is a pull out couch. So at least one, if not two people could definitely sleep there. And then you have the nice little, it is kind of like a kitchenette, but you do have a sink and I mean, it's a decent sized refrigerator. So lots of storage there for all the leftovers or anything you wanna bring. And then because it's a family suite, there is not a king size bed, but there are two beds here. So you can have multiple people sleeping here. I think these sleep up to six people. So perfect for a nice family trip here. <gasps> oh, look at the view. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, we can almost see the volcano at Volcano Bay, almost. But we do have a really nice pool view and like pretty much the whole courtyard. I love it. And then there is lots of storage, which is really nice. There's actually a really big closet over here. And would you look at that? Our stuff's already here. <laughs> but something else that we found, Josh was like, oh, are these drawers? They actually are, which is really cool. And it kind of looks like these drawers go to nowhere, which they are real drawers. But if you look around the other side, you can see that it kind of comes over here. So there's drawers on this side as well. So lots of storage, really awesome for all the family luggage that you bring. And as far as sleeping goes, you can close this little partition and separate. This bathroom, yes, it's like a cruise bathroom. And if you've never been on a cruise before, not all bathrooms are like this, but some of them are. It's kind of like a split bathroom. So it has a sink all by itself. The toilet has its own room. And then you have a shower with a sink in it as well. So it's this is like perfect for families, but also perfect for people like me and John where we need separate bathrooms. It's perfect for getting ready. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. That like brings back some like nostalgia, nostalgic memories. Well, good. Good morning, everybody. Um... I think the last couple times we've done some staycations, people usually say that we don't really show enough of us being here in the actual room. So here you go. Here's a quick sight. This is why we don't show us in the room very much because it looks it's a mess. like a disaster. Um, if you guys have, if you guys watched our JW video uh, staycation, I had a little issue with coffee. And so I've been really tired of having issues with coffee at hotels. So I actually just brought everything for myself and uh, I got a pour over set here, so I'm not doing it right now, but I might show some B-roll, cool B-roll shots of doing coffee later. But um, it's like almost 8 o'clock, and it is, uh, Taylor said, 36 degrees outside. So we're not going outside. Not yet. We're anyway. going to go downstairs and eat <laughs> breakfast, though. So yeah. let's go eat breakfast. I'm bringing my <laughs> coffee because I just made it, and... Uh, well, I don't want it to go to waste. So really nice thing about where our room is at. So we are in the family suite and we are in the Continental Building. We're up on the fifth floor and right down at the end of our hallway, which we can actually see these elevators from our room, we get in these elevators and we can go right down to the lobby. <laughs> Oops, I just stepped on Josh. Well, we can go right down to the lobby area and that takes us right to the quick service. So we are in a prime spot for our room this trip. So the question is right now, are they going to uh, charge me for coffee as I come out of here? <laughs> that was a great shot. So we just made it back to our room after eating breakfast and we didn't really talk about it while we were down there, but let me tell you what. Those pancakes were awesome. I was expecting them to already be like pre-made in a pan. They just grab three and throw them on your plate. No, 
that chef back there actually made the pancakes right there. So they were super fresh. Oh, they were so good. Mm. Nice and fluffy. I was very satisfied for a quick service breakfast. And then Josh got like what we would call the bounty platter. I did. And it was good. So I have to say. Um, I did make a slight change, which I got gravy on top of my biscuit, which was good. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. And here you all see Josh is lounging now. This is what we will be doing for a while because it's freezing cold outside. Literally. <laughs> all right, so we are uh, getting on the bus. We're gonna head on over to City Walk, which will take us to Islands of Adventure and Universal. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, you too. We just got dropped off by our resort bus. And you get dropped off right below security at City Walk. So we're about to head up the escalator here, go through security, and then head into City Walk, and then decide which park we're going to, because we haven't decided yet. <laughs> So I think we are actually going to go into uh, Islands of Adventure first because we want to go and see some of the uh, new roller coaster that's being developed right now. It's, I think they've been doing some test runs with some people, which is really cool. So we're going to go check that out, get a better look at that. And uh, I don't know, we're probably going to head into Hogsmeade, maybe take the train to Universal, to Diagon Alley. So let's go have some fun. All right, so we're coming up to the Hagrid's line and uh, 30 minutes is probably longer than that, as you can see, because this is the line coming out through here. But uh, Taylor wants to jump in, so we're gonna jump in. We don't have anything better to do. So let's go get in line. You can hear it going in the background. So uh, it hasn't even been like 15 minutes yet, I don't think, right? It's only been five minutes. Five minutes <laughs> and... Uh, where we were at, now. right, we, we moved all the way up into the real queue, which is really nice. We uh, secured our loose items, except for our cell phones. And uh, I'm super excited. This is always such an amazing coaster to ride here at Universal's Islands I'm of Adventure. I'm so happy we're getting to ride it today too, because I thought the line was gonna be super long, like virtual queue and everything. Yeah. That was the first thing I checked to see if there was a virtual queue and there wasn't. So I'm like, oh, well, it's already gone for the day. And then I checked wait times, it said 30 minutes. I'm like, no way. But here we are. Yeah, so this is not bad at all. We have not stopped moving yet. We're literally just walking through the queue. And I think the wait, which will probably be a little bit further inside, is actually where most of that wait's at. I think it's just kind of people stopping to take Hello, photos or video, like we are. So one of our patrons, Tim, actually asked us to come over and check out some of the construction for the Velocicoaster. So that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, try to get some eyes on it. Looks like they still have some construction stuff going on over there. So it's not totally done. They're working out some kinks, but let's check it out. All right, so we are in uh, Jurassic Park area here of Islands of Adventure. And we're walking back towards the Jurassic Park uh, vehicle. See if we can get a few extra sights of the track. You can actually see there is a uh, 
Velociraptor up there that is uh, still wrapped in plastic. Yeah, but there's not really too much else to actually see. A little bit of the track, but it's still, again, it uh, doesn't seem to be running today. All right, so we're out in front of the Jurassic Park Discovery Center, and you can actually see there's a big boom up there, uh, like a crane that's working. So definitely not running the tracks today, I don't think. All right, so I came over to try and get a different view of everything that's going on, and um, over here to our left, you can kind of see where the coaster, the track comes popping up into the sky. They're also doing some refurbishments over here on the Popeye stuff, but you really can't get that close to the tracks. Um, at least not as close as I was hoping to. You can see Hogsmeade over there in the distance in the track, and they've got that bridge. That bridge is still closed to the public. Um, and if you guys look real closely, you can see that they've got uh, some booms and like lifts up over there on that bridge. So still can't get very close. We could definitely try to go back over here um, and uh, get some stuff from that side. but. You know, I'm really excited. This is going to be an awesome new attraction uh, here at uh, Universal. It's going to be really, really great. All right, so after our little escapade earlier over here, um, we literally just came in, we rode Hagrid's, and we went and tried to see some of the construction and updates to what's going on with the Velocicoaster. We left and we came back because, you know, it's nice every so often to just have a little staycation where you can just kind of relax and not have to worry about doing anything at all if you don't want to. So we went back and we just chilled. And so now we're back over here at City Walk. We're going to try and get some photos and then we're going to go to another hotel to eat dinner tonight for some sushi. All right, guys. So we showed you earlier that we took a bus from Cabana Bay over here to, I almost said Disney Springs, City Walk. <laughs> and uh, we took the bus back over here again because that's the only way to get from Cabana Bay to here without driving mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, and so what we also wanted to show you is that you can also just take a bus to some other place if you want to. So mm -hmm. we're going to go eat at Royal Pacific. Well, we're going to go eat at a restaurant there that's at Royal Pacific. We are. Uh, sorry, I know I'm acting very confused it's because I am. I've never done this before. We're just waiting for the bus. We're at the bus station. Josh is somehow confused. We could have taken a boat, but we took a bus. Okay, so we made it to Royal Pacific. We got a bus, which I didn't show you guys, sorry. Um, and we've never been here before. So we have literally no idea where we're going. So we're just kind of walking around and uh, hopefully we'll find somebody who can direct us to the location in which we want to go. Because all we see right now are signs for ballrooms. So did you figure it out? I pulled up the map of Universal. Oh, aren't um, you just yep. thinking in the present? So we could have taken a boat, which I guarantee you we probably would have gotten here much faster. Probably. Taylor Taylor chose to take a bus instead, which is fine. Which is fine. We had a great time on the bus. Fine. The bus. We were we had the bus to ourselves. It was like we somebody said, "Are what are you waiting for?" We said Royal Pacific, and then they made a phone call, and the bus showed up bus just for us. So. Wow, but this looks really cool. Look, check out this. I love these maps. I gotta say, this is a little weird because obviously we spend so much time at Disney, it's like we go to a resort and we know exactly where we're going and we never feel lost. And here it's like I opened up a door. I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I should come in here. So, but I think we found it. I think. Taylor says we have, oh yeah, we are. Orchard Court. So uh, I'm gonna end Orchid. this. Orchard? Orchid. Orchid. Like the flower. Wish I could read. Uh, we're gonna do a dining review, so we'll see it. So we just brought a boat back. Um, over to City Walk. Over to City Walk <laughs> so that we could walk back up and take a bus back to Cabana Bay. So we are kind of doing it in a roundabout way, but you can also walk from Royal Pacific to Cabana Bay. And I think that would have been the better thing to do, but it was it dark been a outside. Hike too. We've never done it before, so we decided to stay. So um, I would have showed you guys where it was at, but they have security right at the resorts because when you get dropped off in the City Walk, you get dropped off past all the security. So I don't want to record the security. So we're back at City Walk. We're going back to the resort to crash and hang out and just relax. <laughs> so I realized that we, we did just eat, but I really wanted some pizza. And it actually looks pretty good, so we're gonna go back and eat some pizza. Oh, I'd hold that door for me. Well, 
guys, we are uh, wrapping up our little staycation here. We're checking out. And, uh, <laughs> oh, speaking of checking out, uh, a few things that you guys should know. When checking out here at Cabana Bay is that you don't actually have to go to the front desk. You can um, do it through your phone or you can do it on the television. So oh. I actually am going to do it on my phone so that we don't have to go to the front desk. But we are going to end this trip with a cup of Starbucks, even though we are. I brought my own coffee to brew. Apparently he didn't do it right this morning. I just didn't. I, I was in a rush and I, I rushed it. So it didn't turn out well. But <laughs> coffee is one of those things you can't rush. So we're going to go to Starbucks, get a cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. You should definitely come here and stay at Cabana Bay. And if you ever need help planning a next, your next vacation, yes, reach out to Go Go Getaways and uh, we have somebody who can help you plan it. So link we'll, in the description as always. We'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>